Hi, factoring quadratics using scientific calculator. This is an example. Factoring quadratics for 8x squared plus 14x minus 15 equals 0. When we do factoring 8x squared plus 14x minus 15, this quadratic because the coefficient of x squared is 8. So when we do manually, yeah, we can try factor 8 and 8 equals 1 times 8 and also could be 2 times 4. We need to try several times. Yeah, this is the other way. But now I show you how to use scientific calculator to do this job. Okay, here is the Casio FX991. FMS calculator. The button we use first we go to mode for three times the mode mode here right for on three times one two three and we find the equation one here. So we press one equation is an unknown two unknown or three unknown but this is one unknown. That's why we go to left side arrow. Hit. They say degree is two degree or three degrees. Because the highest exponent is two, that's why two degree. That we put the two. Hit the two. It asks you what is a? The a is the coefficient x square. So we choose eight. We enter eight. And I hit the equal sign. Then ask you what the b. The b is the coefficient of x, which is 14, which is positive. Press 14, enter 14, 1, 4, and enter. Then ask you what the c. c is the last term is constant, which is negative 15. Negative 15. So you put the negative, use this one, it's not that one. Negative with brackets here. Negative 50. 15. And hit the equal sign. This time, because you already enter A, B, C, and then you hit equal sign, they will give you the solution of this equation. You got x1 equal 0 0.75. Because this is a quadratic square, so there are two solutions. One is x1 equals 0 0.75, but we want to show the answer in fraction. So we hit the shift, ABC. They give you x1 equals 3 over 4. Then we keep hit the equal sign again. It show you x2 equal negative 2.5 and change convert to fraction shift abc they give you negative 5 over 2 up this step you're done the solution which you got x equal 3 over 4 and x equal negative 5 over 2. And we're using these two solutions to write the fact form, factoring form, which we can write this one in 2 because we have x1 equals 3 over 4, right? So we write x over 1 because x is x over 1 equals 3 over 4. This I show you the detail. Then you can see cross multiplication. Cross multiply. So 4 times x minus 3 because this is a go to other side. You have 4x equals 3. 
and move 3 to the other side becomes 3x minus uh, 4x minus 3 equals 0. So this is a 1. The second one, x2 equals negative 5 over 2. So we also can write x over 1 equals negative 5 over 2. And we can write the cross multiplication. But the 2x equals negative 5, which is equal to 2x move negative 5 to the left side, combined with 2x become 2x plus 5 equals 0. This is the second factor we need because 4x minus 3 equals 0. So 2x plus 5 equals 0. That's why if these two multiply together, so we got 4x minus 3 multiply 2x plus 5 still equals 0, right? Multiply 0 multiply 0 equals 0. That's why this is the factoring form of 8x. So this is 8x. So that's why 8x squared plus 14x minus 15 equals 0. And the factor out is 4x minus 3, 2x plus 5. Yeah, until this point, we done. And this is show you the detail. Later on, if you're familiar with this process, so you look at this one, x equals 3 over 4, you 4 times x minus 3, and 2x plus 5, because this negative move to the left side becomes plus 5, you done the factoring, right? So this is the way using calculate help you to factor. Thank you.